Hello guys. guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Buko Mibike Crown. So guys, I'm here with a guest. My name is Buko Tuluchi. Super excited to be here again, guys. All right. So we're going to be checking out a video together titled Amedidat Embarrassed Priest, that is a pastor who wanted to challenge him, a rare video. So let's watch, guys. What means exactly and precisely what it says, begotten, fathered, conceived of the Holy Spirit, Jesus was indeed, as man, born of the Spirit, born of the Father, begotten, not made. And I'm so glad you made that distinction, because it is central to the Christian faith, and it actually establishes his deity, that what is begotten of God is God, and what is created of God is not God. And that is why the deity of Jesus Christ is revealed in his birth. Uh, that just as you so eloquently quoted Billy Graham saying that the Holy Spirit overshadowed the Virgin Mary. And, 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 and uh, you seem to think that someone was upset by the idea that, that the Father sired Jesus. Well, I am not upset by that at all. It's absolutely scriptural. And therefore, uh, I want to ask you to confirm, as I think you have so eloquently said on, on, the, uh, on the videotape, uh, that the distinction between the Islamic religion and the Christian faith, the Christian revelation, is that the Jesus of the Quran is a creature created by Almighty God, whereas the Jesus of the Christian revelation is begotten of God, is a, a manifestation of God in the flesh. And we say, therefore, that Jesus just as Billy Graham uh, pointed out, uh, it was born as a result of the impregnation by the Spirit of the Virgin Mary. And as Irene Milan pointed out in our, earlier on, we have therefore Jesus fully man and fully God. Now to an unbeliever like yourself, we do not expect that to make sense unless the Holy Spirit gives the revelation. Because no one will say Jesus is Lord but by the Spirit. You see this expression of God. John 3.16 I take it you have it in your American standard right. But the RSV You said you don't use it You use it best known to yourself But Christian scholars, 32 scholars of the highest eminence Backed by 50 cooperating denominations I don't know whether you use Since you do not think to belong to any denomination They went and produced the book And the, the testimony the praises that which are being heaped upon this translation by Anglican Church newspaper. The Church of England newspaper says that this is the finest version which has been produced in the present century. And literary supplement says a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Life and Work says the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with the new accuracy of translation. And the Times says the most accurate and close rendering of the original. They are claiming that this translation goes to the most ancient manuscripts. And in John 3.16, they have eliminated the word begotten. Because they say these are defects in your present scriptures. More especially based on German's Latin Vulgate, the King James Version. The authors here, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, back by 50 cooperating denominations, they say that the King James Version used by a billion Christians today in different, different languages, King James Version. So yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. So they revised it, that is what the RSV is, 1952, and the word begotten they threw out as a fabrication, interpolation, it was a fabrication. So if this was inspired by God, if God said I have begotten a son, it would be something. But since it was an interpolation, it's work of people you know, with vested interest, like you wouldn't would use this Bible at all, because if that it won't suit you. Whatever you are out to preach, you haven't got it. The Ascension is taken out, the verse on the Trinity is taken out, 
and there still remain those many defects. See, the great defects, you see, which means certification. So this word begotten is a defect and they took it out. But, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dillon, yes, if we were going to base our belief on one word, we would be a lost people. There are many other scriptures which I can quote and which I've quoted. Mm -hmm. you quote like show time. it. If you quote one at a time, like this now. That's right. The word begotten, we are discussing, I said, look, this word begotten, you have to tell me now that these 32 scholars of the Christian Bible were not scholars. That they were lay people or, or barbers, shoemakers, they, they were going to produce this book. These 50 denominations that you don't belong to that, but those 50 denominations are all heathen or they are unbelievers. They went and produced this book and they made, they sold millions of this and they made a net profit of 11 to 15 million on this book alone. May I quote yes. from this book, yes. the doctrine of the begotten Son of God from the scriptures. Alright? The word begotten. The word begotten. Yes. Mm -hmm. The RSV, I do think it's an inferior translation, but it's one you put your faith in. I quote. I didn't. This is your church. I have produced it. Your point is. All right. For to what angel did God ever say, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. Or again, I will be to him a father, he shall be to me a son. And in verse 7, of the angels he says, who makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire, of fire. But of the Son, he says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Now, you where was this quotation taken from? Hebrews chapter 1. Right. Quoting the Psalms. Right. So, we go to the book of Psalms. And we find that this was attributed to David. God's Almighty is speaking to David. He said, I will declare a decree unto thee that thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. God is speaking to David. This day means today I have brought you into being. Begotten. When did God Almighty tell Jesus that I have begotten you today? In the canonical gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Is there a single statement, voice heard from heaven, God saying that I have begotten you today? No. But this is what we read in the book of Psalms and God had spoken those words to David. Now if you take them out from there and you apply them as Paul has done to make God out of Jesus, well that is his business. But what I am saying is this, that Jesus Christ, that is not, it's an amazing thing, that you are not quoting me a single word of Jesus. Whatever you are out to prove, there is not one word I'm hearing that Jesus said this or Jesus said that. You could be Paul again and again. You could, he's quoting scripture from the Old Testament. And I said, when you look at it from the very face of it, he's not talking about Jesus, he's talking about David. Actually, at that point, perhaps we can move on to the next topic and see if we can progress from there. All right. The next one, please. Hmm. I said the scripture is what? Hebrew chapter 1. Because I'm trying to understand the whole thing. It's mm -hmm. like they are discussing two two things in one. Mm -hmm. Discussing Jesus, bringing in David. So I want to know which, what are they actually talking about? Are they talking about Jesus not being born by God? God they said the word begotten. Begotten, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the word begotten, Jesus was not begotten. No. Uh, sorry, let's um, go back to this page. Psalm, verse 7, of the angels is... 7, give this one 7, see. In the past, God spoke from, I'm speaking from the first. In the okay. first, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom he made the universe. The sun is the radiance of God's glory, an exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by, the, by his powerful word. 
after he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So he became a much superior to the angel, as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. Mm. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, today I have become your father, or again I will be his father and he will be my son. Mm. And again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let God's angels worship him. In speaking of the angels, he says, he makes his angels wings, his servants flames of fire. But about the sun, he says, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, ever. and righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. He also says in the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe. Like a garment, they will be changed, but remain the same, and your years will never end. To which of the angels did God ever say, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool mm. for your feet? And not all angels, ministering spirits, are sent to serve those who will inherit the salvation. It's unfortunate, this, there was no way I was referring to David here. Yes. If he says he's referring to David. Now let's let's look at um where he say in the last days he has spoken to us by his son, son. whom he appointed heir over all things and through whom he made the universe. Mm -hmm. Now I remember I was talking about um the Jesus being um the word of God personified and by God's word he created this in, even the in Islam is he kun fire kun be and it becomes. it becomes yeah so he said by his son uh, but in the last day he has appointed he has spoken to us by his son whom he appointed here over all things and through whom he made the universe so if uh, in a christian faith we believe that um, jesus as the word of god being personified mm -hmm. because through the word he spoke and it became as a spirit and entered into mary through his own same word he said be and it became then jesus then is the son of god the son of god yes these scriptures actually proving it. So whatever he was saying here, I didn't, it's yeah. not rhyming with what it's he's not saying. Rhyming. He was talking about David. Yes, this has nothing to do with yeah. David. And so, here today spoke about the angels yes. too. He spoke about the angels that before God came, the angels were you know, in now, charge. Now, when you talk being like God or being the representation of God, now look at these scriptures. Chapter 3 said, The Son is the radiance of God's glory, an exact representation of his being. Exact mm. representation of his, his being. being. So, if you say, if with this scripture, you can actually see Jesus is like a God on earth. Because if he's representing, if he's the word of God, the word of God being personified. Mm -hmm. And it was the word of God. I tried, because I, I picked that today from the Quran, where it says, and God spoke, and as a word, um, the word as a spirit went into Mary. So, mm. if the word as a um, word of God entered into Mary to become Jesus, become a fetus, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's like the word of God personified, like it's become flesh. flesh yes. Now, if that same word, it says, the son, of the son is the radiance of God's glory, an exact representation of his being. So now, if you have established the fact that Jesus is the son of God, right? Mm -hmm. Then it is not much to say he is God because it's like, you see, the Bible here, the scripture says it's like the representation of his being. It's like the representation of his being on earth. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you understand where I'm trying to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sun, in chapter 3, it says the sun is the radiance of God's glory and exact representation of his, his being, being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. Mm -hmm. Again, Jesus being the word of God, being made flesh, sustaining it by his word. We, like, we attribute everything Jesus was able to do to God. Yes, because he is the word of God made flesh. But um, they uh, before, be forgotten they were talking about. The begotten. Yeah, the begotten they were talking about. Where is that one from? Now, if you see... When Jesus in the um, um, John three sixteen for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that He gave His only begotten Son, Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Now in when Jesus was um, 
uh, the angel of uh, the dove uh, during baptism, John the Baptist baptized and say, This is my beloved son, son in mm -hmm. whom I am well pleased. pleased. Hear he him. Now, so that is where the problem is coming from. From then you yeah. bring in David. Yeah. So the David done is just out of the old context. Like it's just confusing. Yeah. So yeah. That is basically the thing. So, so they're trying to discuss Jesus as a son of God, mm -hmm. that he was begotten. begotten. So, so when they say the word, according to you, when you use the word begotten, that means God in the process, you know, how intercourse and all this. Mm -hmm. But now let's look at this. I, like I used in the previous analogy, right? I'm saying if there was no further intervention with the Islam, Islamic people, the Islam belief or Quran says no man was, Jesus was giving mm. birth without the intervention of a man, then you could see that in science, factual, everyday person, if you come to me and say you're pregnant, I'll ask you who's the father. Yes, straight. Definitely. And if you're telling me you don't know the father, I'll look at you like either you've slept around mm -hmm. yes, and you can't the point to one particular one person. person. Yeah, that is responsible, mm -hmm. or you were raped, you don't know who raped you, you know, mm -hmm. or if you tell me, like, you just there and get, maybe they've made a mistake in the hospital, you're not pregnant, like, probably they've given you someone else's result. Results. Yes. yes, that's the same thing that happened with the mother. When the mother gave birth to him and brought him back, and you're like, oh, you have disgraced stuff, you've embarrassed us, and the rest mm -hmm. of that, and it was like he pointed to the child, the child, like, no. Uh, he explained, um, Jesus explained the situation to the people, people. As, a, as, a, as, a, as a newborn. He was able to speak. Mm. You see his divinity. You see that mm. he was not just ordinary, but he was able to speak according to the Quran. That was not um, in the Bible. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. according to the Quran, he, was, he spoke, and that's when they believed that, okay, um, it was not with, because that was not natural for a mm. newborn baby to be able to speak, understand. So, with this thing then, there should be a father because mm. if there's a mother there's a father i can use mm. in terms of adam was created we know it was an element is a compound mm. mud soil and then mm. the void god breathed into him and he came to life but then now you could see now that there is a woman but and a woman cannot mm. It's not like some animals or some plants that are sexual. Yes. They can impregnate themselves or they can, you know, have intercourse with themselves, you know, yes. the way they were created. But this one, you need an external factor. Like you need the sperm, you need the, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. So now this, that didn't happen. But as the word of God, as a spirit, this is according to the Quran, right? Mm -hmm. As a yes. spirit, it said as a spirit, the word of God as a spirit descended into uh, upon uh, Mary. Mary. That's when Mary took in. Then is it not right for us to say, he is it because he's the son of God? Mm. So now looking at it, there's no way this thing is responding to David, David in here. In any way. So that's the only contradiction about this whole thing. Mm. Wow. It's really nice. To me, there's nothing embarrassing about this whole thing per se. They both had their own point of view and it was well understood. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more reaction video. Like, share, and comment. I'll be dropping his channel link in the description box for more reaction. Please check out his channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.